Now, Ronnie and Joring, number? What is it? 21. 21. 21. <laughs> Los Angeles Park. <laughs> that was the call, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where we come from, this is Beverly Hills up here. Like, yeah, we, we'd be, um, You'd be the upper class, yeah? yeah. yeah. Upper yeah. class, yeah. yeah. Upper class, yeah. The, the air is very thin up here, Ali, but <laughs> yeah. you know, we, we can handle it. Were you born here? Yeah. You were born? Yeah. Two of you were born? Well, Michael was the first man, I didn't hear it heard already. Michael was the first man born in Angeles Park. That's your brother, Gene, yeah? Gene, yeah, Gene Barrett here over in over, over Fast Road was the first girl. Uh, he was born on Christmas Eve. I didn't know that last year, I read the menus. Know, my mother told me last night. Yeah. Yeah, and, and he was um, yeah, the, first, the, first, the first man born. Do you know who, what contractor built this place? I know, I know Sergei Hoban worked in it. I think, it's, I think it was a, a, a Mexican-Conway uh, era. I think it was something around that time. Oh, that's I know right. that, because my father worked in it. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, it was back then, yeah. And why do they call it, yeah. why do they call it Father Angel's Park? Well, well the, the, the main man, I'm sorry, I only learned this day, I saw his picture on the, on, on the postcard the last day, Father Angelus, I thought it was fantastic. After, after 55 years, I realised we it was Father Angelus, I we just Father Angelus Park, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, we were so often here in a Hungry Hill, Ali, it, was, um, it wasn't, um, we, ne we never <laughs> equated it with, with any Father Angelus Park. <laughs> no, if you were from Hungry Hill, Ali, you could call it Hungry Hill, yeah, yeah. but if you were downtown and someone called it Hungry Hill, they'd have to get a slap. You know, that kind of <laughs> That's the way things were at the time. And uh, why was it called Hungry Hill? <laughs> well, you see, they, they reckon that, uh, I suppose, the dregs of the earth ended up up here. But so yeah. we, we, it was quality. Yeah. Ollie, we had nothing, but we no. had everything. What I loved about it was, every evening we used to go down there and play football down there, and all the kids had, had um, grouped together, and we used to pick the teams. Two lads had picked the teams. I'd pick him, and you pick him, and you know, that's how the teams were picked, you know. And that's how, you know, we were, like, from Michael Higgins to here. Like, the Lord Mayor. Yeah, Michael played for Mayo. And he played for Westfield United. On the same Jim, day? Yeah, Jim and Michael played for Westfield United. I played for Westfield United. Joe played for Westfield United. And we've kind of cut medals and Mayo League medals between the lot of us in, in two houses, you know. And we've got great footballers out here. John Labby over there, number 40. John won a kind of cup medal Michael in 1974 with Westford United, right? He won a kind of cup medal, you know. So, uh, and great players and great footballers came out of this. The Scales, be, you know, Cash Gales. All the Scales come out, uh, great footballers. You know, the amount of players that come out of Angelus Park alone to play for Westford United and won medals. And played, of course, Michael played for Mayo and, and went on. Uh, some great footballers. But there were great times, you know. Ollie. There was, you know. could be 150 kids down, down, yeah. down there playing at night. Yeah. I oh, remember yeah. playing yeah. at 12 o'clock at night. And it was, it was, and yet, you know, we talk about all this now. It's not the time to go into it, but we talk about all this, uh, this stuff, the, the pedophile stuff, and all that. I don't know anybody of any, of any, anyone around here with any, any deal with any of that. And yet, we could be out from morning until twelve o'clock at night, and nobody would look for us. Yeah. You know? yeah. And we were, there, and this was the beauty of it. Like we're looking at it here. We had a family of thirteen here, and the next door here had had, had, had six. Higgins had twelve. There was thirteen in this house. <laughs> Alone, you're looking at it. Lanny's had, I think, I think seven or eight or nine. So, and Ska has a 13. So you just look at these five or six houses here alone. So there's that, about 40 people. Many, yeah. Just in them three or four houses. And, then, and you know, the same down along the line as well. Yeah. Down along the line. Well, the thing over there, they were a bit, they were a bit cultured, a little bit over on the yeah. corner there. They, mm. they had their television. They were more knowledgeable. They had their television before we had, Ali. It was strange, Ali. There was no, no one would make a time, but you had to be there by 7 o'clock. You know, everyone had their tea at 6 o'clock, at yeah. 6. And it's then you had to be down there on the sports, but there at 7 o'clock to get on the team, you know. And Ali, believe me, everybody went up with a tea because we didn't get nothing like that. You just found me a 13 in here, Ali. And that's when the heat of the bread was the, was the, was the best part. You know, yeah. that's when you, when you, when you and we're all happy. We're great trains up here. We, you know, mm. uh, we, we, I we had the pot to piss but we were as happy as Larry. Mm. And you know, what we had uh, was there was no houses over there, right? Just to take it in, there was no houses behind us. There was no Harkons Hill, right? Oh. There was no uh, over there. There was no schools. No. There was nothing. So we had so much clear area. Yeah. 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 No yeah. Elgin. No all so all we had all this. We had the whole place and to play woods. in. You know, all the woods. woods. We had every, We had so much playroom around here. It was unreal. You know, and like it was you survival, know. really, wasn't it? Because. Yeah. Remember Ali Hopkins down there, Ali, down there in number uh, uh, 16. They had a cow. And yeah, I think that right, cow, yeah. the poor old cow, yeah. I think he fed the whole, the whole of Angelus Park. Yeah. And that's what we lived on. That was the milk. I mean, 13 in the family here. And what was he fed on, the cow? Yeah. We, we never asked. We never asked. <laughs> and here's another story. Yeah. No See, this, this man here, Jim King, used to live in there, right? That's right. The Matt King's feather. He used to make cock of hay. He, he, yeah, he cut the grass and he'd have the hay in it. And the green, on the, the park. It didn't work out. Like, you know, we used to get a clip in the lug, like, because... He'd make the cocks of hay. He'd make the cocks of hay. We were jumping on the hay, like. But you know what? You mean, uh, kids were kids, you know. And we'd be on the cocks of hay. And of course, you'd get a clatter if they were giving out. Yeah, yeah. Someone was on Jim's hay. Oh, like, it was you know. It was a great thrill to jump on the cock of hay, you know. It was brilliant. And then we'd go out to wood to cut, to bring yeah. in the trees from the woods. And that, yeah. that, was, that was our fume. 
We used to have to break bonfires. And who won the wood? Angelus Park was the bonfire. The wood was the forest people. Forest people. It was used. We used to break the trees there and bring them in. Tommy Scott. That's what all the did here. That's what that's what maybe you might buy a hundred of coal as they call it and might last you a month to mix with the with the wood for the fires. So you kinda had free fuel? We used to get mushrooms. Uh, how did the mushrooms grow in the fields? Say, we used to get the mushrooms. I used to bring them on the string, and uh, I used to go up to my, all the fields up there and bring the mu- mushrooms in. Yeah. And my mother would put them on the pen then and cook them. You know, oh, yeah. and in the fields. The, the wild down there, Ali, down in the second house, yeah. there was uh, acres and acres of it. It was the most finest land ever. And there was a uh, what was his name? He used to, used to he used to grow the, all the, the the vegetables down there. He was some man. Hundreds of acres down there, and you have cabbages. And we could go down and buy the cabbage on the end of the shilling. I remember my mother sending me down yeah. for the cabbage and the, the turnips for a shilling. So that was the food of the day. And yeah. and then they go fishing, and it was like that. Jesus, well, there was no supermarket there, was No, no, the VG. I think Stephen went to the first supermarket town, the VG. Yeah, yeah. Ollie Hopkins used to work and, there. And yeah. uh, Ollie used to work. Yeah, yeah. And we used to get tickets, they call it. What, they call what, what was her name? Joan Joyce used to be there. Joan Joyce. shop. You used to send us down there, and she was very good to us, though. She used to. She was good to what she had to be. She was a. 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 No, she was very good to us. Yeah, so you know. So you were getting credit? You were going, you get credit, yeah. And uh, in, in all fairness, Stephen Welch was the same. But he knew the people were sound. Like when they mm. got the wages on the Friday, the, the first thing they'd go do was go and do the shop and pay for, mm. for what, they, what they owed. That's the way it was. Yeah, you, pre- you produced a few musicians up here as well, did you? We did, we did. Yeah, uh, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie Welch, of course. And he had Ollie Frank, Welch, Frank, who used to play with a big show band. Sure Frank, uh, Eamon and Frank used to be with the Freel men many, many years ago. You know. Sorry, sir. You know, and, uh, and of course, uh, Noel Feeney was married to uh, one of the Rileys, Noel Feeney yeah. with a and his own band as well. Yeah. So, Eamon Cannon. Yeah. Eamon Cannon, Cannon, yeah. Eamon, and, and, Eamon, and he was with the Freshmen. I think they were called the Freshmen at the time. Right? There were the Freshmen. The there were the Freshmen, yeah. 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 And, and Michael Frank. Cannon. And, and, and Michael, yeah. So yeah. now we have a lot of musicians. And, and we have a lot of fellow think tank musicians as well. <laughs> <laughs> and you produce a yeah. famous yeah. politician yeah. out here as well. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. The minister. We're very proud of the minister. Yeah, yeah. If you're there tonight, Ali, you'd hear a few musicians. You'd hear guys who think they're musicians later on in the night. In the castle, one of the heads of God. But your brother's a minister. He is a minister, and we're yeah. very proud of Michael. Oh, yeah. He's doing yeah, he he very well. I, I yeah, just yeah. heard a story about him. Um, Pat Tuffy rang me yesterday that he was in Dublin on Friday and he was um, making a speech in the Mansion House. Liverpool and Celtic were there, uh, the two teams and uh, management. And uh, Jason McIntyre turned around to um, Pat Tuffy. He says, Pat, who's your man? He said, This minister Michael Ring. He said, He's brilliant. He's, he said, we, If we had him in, in England, he's some character. He said, He's brilliant. He said, yes. He said that to Pat Tuffy, uh, Jason McIntyre, that played for the Republic of Ireland. But apparently, he got a standing ovation uh, Friday night. That's, oh, yeah. that's no problem to me. He's, well, he has, a, gift, he him, has a gift for the gap. He's, he's, mm. But not only that, but he's a worker. I don't know what he does. Work, like, yeah. you know, well, he's probably gone off somewhere there now to open something, you know. You know. How he does, you know. He's, he's a class act. Have you all got the gift of the gab in your house? Well, yeah, yeah, you're a good talker, yeah. I'm you know. a bit shy, Ali. <laughs> you got over that, I think, did you? I got over that, yeah. <laughs> Over 60 years ago. <laughs> We've got a professional talker here, anyway. So <laughs> two of them. But that's... <laughs> You got involved in Toastmasters? <laughs> yes, Sally, I am indeed. And you're brought it into the schools, I hear? Yeah, we've brought it into the schools and um, we're actually doing, we're doing something new this year. We're going to, um, we have developed a course for, for TY, we've developed a course for first years. And we're developing a course from first years right through to TY. And what we've done is we've modernised the whole thing in that we've brought in media skills into it and interview skills into it. In that we're going to, i give an example of what we're doing. Uh, so we find that... We're finding early at the moment is that communication skills are gone. That the kids are they're all on, on Facebooks and and, and um, all these games, this Playboys, the Playstations, and all that. So we think that rather than knocking technology, and you have a nice bit of it there yourself, rather than knocking it, we have to enhance it and do and create tools to um, to bring them along and bring it along. And what we've done is we created this course to try and help them to develop their, their confidence skills and, and to develop their communication skills. Yeah. And the communication thing would be something like, we, we're going to get maybe two groups of them and we'll, we'll, we'll have one of them maybe interviewing like maybe the Pat Kenny to date. We give them a week to prepare. We give them a topic maybe on whatever the topic of the, city, of the day is and we give them a week to prepare and we'll, we'll expect them to maybe to be experts on the, on the topic. Yeah. And one of them will interview, we'll do the interview thing and we'll film it. And we'll also do we'll do a setup like it will be a complete studio setup. So hopefully that's that's we're adding that on to us, and we're adding on the uh, interview skills. Okay. We've got um, a new interview technique that's completely new to everybody else. Teach them how to think on their feet. So that's all been brought in this year mm. to add on to what we've done in the last three years. Do you need to do that? Do that, Ronnie? Do you? <laughs> I don't know. You're still at the DJ, yeah? Yeah. Doing DJ, thank God things going well for me now. How long you had it for? I'm at it now with 35, 40, 35 years. 35 years, years yeah. Yeah. Still in demand. Yeah. Still in demand. Yeah. Still always still more in demand mm. now. I, I think yeah, things, things, things are going all right for me now. I think you're more in the, demand. I think the young looks. Yeah, well, yeah. Of course. He looks young. Ah, oh, he does, yeah. Yeah, young fella, yeah, yeah. 